வணக்கம் இன் திஸ் வீடியோ வி ஷால் பி டீலிங் வித் ஹவு டு கிவ் அ டிஜிட்டல் பிளாக் ஆன் த ஃபிங்கர் ஆர் த தம் திஸ் இஸ் அ வெரி ப்ராக்டிக்கல் பிளாக் தட் கேன் பி கிவன் ஃபார் மேனேஜ்மெண்ட் ஆஃப் ஸ்மால் வூண்ட்ஸ் ஆன் த ஃபிங்கர்ஸ் பட் பிஃபோர் வி கோ இன் டு த எக்ஸாக்ட் டீடெயில்ஸ் ஆஃப் ஹவு த பிளாக் இஸ் கிவன் வி ஷால் டீல் வித் அ ஃபியூ டாபிக்ஸ் லைக் த இண்டிகேஷன்ஸ் for using a digital block for the fingers or thumb how to make the preparations to give the block what drug is to be used and how much of the drug can be used safely the exact technique of how the digital block is given for the fingers and the thumb and finally when the digital block should not be used when we consider the indications for giving a digital block injury on one or two fingertips especially a nail injury there may be an associated fracture of the terminal phalanx this is a good indication a digital block would be effective for an injury on the rest of the finger involving only a skin laceration with no tendon or bony injury but if more than two fingers are involved it is better to avoid a digital block since it will need multiple pricks on the palm of the hand which is very painful so it is advisable in these conditions to use other blocks like the wrist block or axillary block having decided to give a digital block we need to get ready we need a pair of gloves an alcohol soap gauze piece or cotton wool a 5 ml or 10 ml syringe depending on whether we want to give a digital block for a single finger or two fingers and an ampule of distilled water before seeing what local anesthetic and how much of the anesthetic should be loaded for giving a digital block we shall first see what we should not use we should not use lignocaine with adrenaline when adrenaline is mixed with the solution and it is given as a digital block it may cause a spasm of the vessels which are very close to the digital nerves hence lignocaine with adrenaline should not be used for giving a digital block one of the commonest local anesthetic solution used for giving digital block is lignocaine two person solution this implies that 1 ml of this solution contains 20 mg of lignocaine the other commonly used drug for giving a digital block is bupivacaine 0.5 percent solution this implies that 1 ml of this solution will contain 5 mg of bupivacaine now let us see how much of the drug we can use for digital block without exceeding the maximum dose for lignocaine without adrenaline which is what we are going to be using in digital block the safe dose that can be used is 3 mg per kg weight of the individual for example if the patient weighs 60 kg the calculation of the dose that can be given will be 60 into 3 which is 180 mg now we know that each ml of 2% lignocaine contains 20 mg so the dosage of 2% lignocaine that can be used safely will be 180 divided by 20 which is 9 ml so for a 60 kg patient we should not exceed the safe dose of 9 ml of 2% lignocaine calculating in the same way if the patient weighs 10 kg the calculated dose should not exceed 10 into 3 which is 30 mg so the dosage that can be used safely will be 30 divided by 20 which is 1.5 ml when we consider bupivacaine 0.5 percent the maximum dose is 2 mg per kg of body weight for example for a 60 kg patient the calculated maximum dosage would be 60 into 2 which is 120 mg now we know that each ml of 0.5% of bupivacaine contains 5 mg so the maximum dose that can be used would be 120 divided by 5 which is 24 ml similarly when we calculate the maximum tolerated dose of bupivacaine 0.5% for a 10 kg individual we find that we should not exceed 4 ml of this solution we also need to remember one thing here it is not always necessary to use 2% lignocaine we can use 1% lignocaine by diluting with an equal amount of distilled water 
this will be as effective as 2% lignocaine for a digital block. And when we use it as a 1% solution, the maximum dose that can be used will naturally become more. Here it will be 9 into 2 which is 18 ml of 1% solution of lignocaine. This would definitely be useful when there are other injuries on the body that need suturing under local anesthesia that is in conditions where general anesthesia may not be possible. We shall now see how the digital block is given for the fingers. After loading the drug, remember that you have to hold the loaded syringe like how you would write. So in a pen holding position, the syringe with the loaded drug is held. The digital block for the fingers should be given along the distal palmar crease as shown in the points that have been marked. That is two points for each finger. For example, for the ring finger, it will be at the points proximal to the web space between the middle and the ring and the ring and the little. Now we shall see a demonstration of the finger digital block being given for the middle and ring fingers for this patient whose wounds have been examined and a preliminary dressing had been applied. Now a digital block is going to be given for the two fingers before the dressings are removed and the surgery is done. First the palm is cleaned with an alcohol or spirit soaked sponge or gauze piece. Before giving the injection, we should properly inform the patient what we are going to do and that it may be painful when the needle prick is given. The surgeon holds the hand of the patient like this in such a way that the surgeon is able to palpate the dorsal aspect of the web spaces of the fingers that are going to be blocked. Then the injection is made as here between the middle and ring fingers the tip of the needle should go almost up to the dorsal skin and this should be confirmed by the surgeon's palpating fingers. This is to ensure that the dorsal branches of the radial nerve that supplies the dorsal skin must also be blocked by this digital block. Once the needle is inserted and placed correctly, aspiration must be done to confirm that the needle tip is not in a vessel. The injection can then be made of the calculated amount of about 3 ml while withdrawing the needle and syringe. The needle is now removed and the next injection is made at the point between the ring and little fingers of about 3 ml after a trial aspiration which is always done and finally between the index and mid fingers. The digital block can also be given for the thumb but as far as the thumb is concerned the anatomy of the digital nerves is slightly different from that of the fingers. In the thumb the midline is occupied by the flexor pollicis longus tendon. On either side of the midline we have the digital nerves at the level of the metacarpophalangeal joint crease on the volar aspect. The digital block when it is given for the thumb, the needle prick is made at the midline at the level of the metacarpophalangeal joint crease and the needle is then inserted on either side of the midline for about a centimeter so that the digital nerve is blocked on either side. Having learnt how to give a digital block, we also need to learn then we should not give a digital block. The first is when there is a problem of viability of the finger. In this injury, you can make out that the tip of the ring finger that has been injured is appearing congested. In this patient, a digital block should not be given and other modes of anesthesia like a axillary block is preferable. Then multiple fingers that is more than two fingers are involved, it is better to avoid a digital block and prefer a wrist block or an axillary block. And finally, even when the injury involves a single finger, if there are fractures or tendon injuries or skin loss, digital block is not the anesthesia of choice. I hope you liked the video. I enjoyed making it. Please click on the shown links to see more about the basics of the median nerve anatomy and the clinical examination of the median nerve injuries. And do not forget to subscribe to keep connected with the latest in learning hand surgery.